Hello everybody, this is your host Nino and today's episode will indeed be an adventure because I haven't done that and I don't know whether it will work out. <laughs> so in front of me I'm having a MacBook Air 2017 which is not supported by Mac OS Ventura and having acquired this little thingy I decided to make it have Ventura and that seems to be possible with a program called Open Core Legacy Patcher. Now I am not commonly a Macintosh person so I have no idea. <laughs> I do of course hope that this is going to work and you will find out whether this is going to get me anywhere or not. Like I just got this machine second hand and I'm now going to experiment with it because that's the point, right? If you just do what the Teletubby system allows you or does not allow you, then where's the spice in life? So open core legacy patcher. OCLP, <laughs> no connection to the internet. All right, but up there we're having here apparently something which might connect. Okay, let me connect for a moment. All right, now I have connected. Pressing enter here. Yeah, before I continue to Google, I can accept or reject cookies. Let's reject. And there is this thing I read about, this alleged open core legacy patcher thing. And maybe let's go to this download thing. Like, <laughs> not even 100% sure whether I did this correctly. So, okay, there seemed to be some sort of... <sighs> Whatever. Select downloaded install a flashing success port prompt. So okay, there there are there's some sort of guidance on the web page here on dortonia.github.dortania.github.io. And uh, that's great. Is there anything like a right click? Okay, not really. You know, these are my first steps into Mac. So, <laughs> for those who have a Mac, of course, this must look extremely funny. Okay, so that then must be the app recommended for all users. Okay. Yeah, I am allowing that it downloads something, which it will now do. I'll give you a pause now again. My installer is nearly downloaded. And there it is jumping around there. Okay, let's go to it here. Jumpy, 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 come on. Do I want really to open this app, which was so dangerously downloaded from the internet? And we bravely go ahead. Now I shall mm -hmm. create macOS installer, I believe was the correct step to do. Let, let, let me just see here again. So once downloaded, open the, lab and, uh, the app and you should be greeted by this menu, which is essentially our menu. Yes. First, we'll want to select Create MacOS Installer button. Oh, that's awesome. No, no updates, please. We're just going to eliminate the system anytime soon. Right now, this seems to be on Monterey, which is really nice, but we want to go to Ventura. So, Create MacOS Installer. Download MacOS Installer. Yeah, sure. Now... It is suggesting me an installer catalog and offering me several systems. Entertainingly, the newest one being actually 
the smallest. I'm just gonna pick it, of course. And now I am going to watch it truly download. 11.8 gigabyte. Oh, that's gonna take a time. So, <laughs> uh, let's, let's spare you that wait and give you a break. All right. The download has nearly completed. And then we shall proceed bravely towards what's actually the next step okay you can proceed to write installer onto a USB drive now looking at this monstrosity here is 11.8 gigabyte this is just simply going to <laughs> take an absolute eternity to write to a USB drive so after this step if you forgive me I believe I will simply have to put you on pause again Okay, now, apparently the download pieces need to be verified. And this verification is now complete. <sighs> okay, asking for my administrator password. Okay, let's try. Installing the install assistant package. Well, make it so, as they say. Installing into the applications folder. Well, okay, that seems to take a bit of a moment Finished extracting to applications folder Oh Great, and now I will have to find the USB stick and flash the installer and Thereafter I will assume that I will have to boot from that Installers found in the applications folder this one okay yeah now I'll need to get my USB stick and now we shall build and install open core and then yeah install to disk I totally would love to open core wants to Okay, get access, whatever. Select disk to install open core onto. Well, that will be the Apple SSD, I assume, very much. Yes. Okay, now clicked around a little bit. Reboot to apply. Yeah, totally. And it's gonna restart in a minute. I mean, that, that's great. You know what, let's cancel this. I wanted to see what happens when I boot it. The option key. Oh god, what is the option key? Mac option key. A uh, thing which looks like some sort of little sledge. Okay. Let's let's go back. So great. I will now reboot the machine while holding the option key. <laughs> and I'm going to select uh 
select install Mac OS. Okay, so in my case it shouldn't be Big Sur, it should be Ventura. Okay, so I'm holding the little slide while I'm doing so, and I'm going to say that I want things installed. I mean, that's great. Let's just do that. Let's relaunch everything. Now holding the slide. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. Install Mac OS Ventura. Yes, please. All right, I may need to fight a little bit with that. Ha, huh, something started to move. I think that, that's great. Whatever that means. I'm going to put you again on pause because unless you really like watching little indicators crawling along, this is just not all that interesting. Oh, 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 oh. we got an apple, we got on everything and we are back at the main screen. Okay, something seems to have gone wrong. I will try things a little bit uh, again. On my stick I found something called Mac OS Ventura. Um, installieren, which means like to install. I double clicked it, my USB is somehow blinking and this little thing here is jumping. So I'm full of hope that it might lead to something. Okay, um, it just stopped jumping and I'll just reboot and see what happens from there. Okay, totally mean it. Restart now. No. Okay, somehow my USB stick seems to have been preventing the restart. This is pretty stupid, of course. I pulled it out by force. Let's see, was anything damaged? Uh. Effie boot, maybe that one. And then install MacOS Ventura. Let's try. It's blinking and blinking down there. We're getting again this weird indicator. This time, however, we do not have this strange no system sign. Alright. Oh, now that's great. Now I am greeted by an actual installer. And I can install Mac OS Ventura, which is totally what I'm going to do. So I said Fortfahren, I believe, which means continue, click on Fortfahren, yeah, so we shall. I do click on Fortfahren. I get this colorful little wheel. Uh, you know, I want to Fortfahren. <laughs> Uh, I can accept something. Yeah, I'm accepting it. Whatever. Uh, some software license agreement, I believe it was. And then we're having the disk. Yeah, sure. On this one. Totally. Fortfahren. Haha. Uh -huh. And apparently uh, it is estimating that this is gonna take half an hour. That's not so bad. Well... <laughs> Let's see how it progresses, right? For a moment I was a bit distracted and looked at something else. And now it seems to be doing something. <laughs> for another half hour. 
I don't know exactly what that is. But apparently after the installing part came that part. I'm spending a lot of time in bars, or at least watching bars. I am having the suspicion that while I looked away, maybe the installer just simply started a second time. Something which has happened to me definitely on Windows installations in the past. And now let's see what's happening. Something is going towards its end. This has become a really long adventure. Okay, and pulling this out. Okay, now I've pulled out the USB a little bit by force because this was starting to get a little bit stupid. I just wanted to make sure it doesn't start again from the USB. Okay, this is creeping along. Let's see where it will get me. We saw for a moment some sort of little arrow. All right, I turn it off from the button, turn it on again without USB being inserted. And now I'm seeing where this leads. Oh, -ho, I'm getting here some sort of percentage now. 1% completed. This might be some sort of disk check. The disk check thingy is progressing further. The disk check thingy is showing 98%. The disk check thingy stopped and apparently, uh, maybe with luck, now this time I got on startup sound. Maybe with luck we will get somewhere this time. So let us see, will it actually boot into Mac OS or am I going to spend more time in bars? And... What on earth is this? Okay, let me try to get in there. I would have expected rather something different. Blah blah, optimize Macintosh, like zero interest to do so. I have the feeling it didn't install anything. Alright, um, hmm. About this Mac, what will you tell me? Ventura! Oh. Alright, so one can thereby judge that this experiment has been indeed successful and I mean yeah that that's great <laughs> so one absolutely is in the position to get the newest Apple operating system onto a 2017 MacBook Air, which pretty much successfully concludes today's experiment, which despite a little bit of meandering achieved its results. Special greetings here to Ivan, a very dear friend of mine who is having his own YouTube channel specializing on Macs. It is in Bulgarian, but he's planning to add English subtitles. He is philosophically more of the opinion that the systems should not be forced upon older hardware. So, <laughs> let's say somewhat jocosely and ironically and dedicating this video to him. And with that, hope to see you in the next experiment. I wish you until then a wonderful time and from me, goodbye.